I, I got you a little surprise. What? Okay, open your eyes. <gasps> wow! Oh my goodness! This what? is so nice! Boom. YouTube family channels, the greatest threat to world peace. I honestly think that scientists should be researching this weird dynamic that family channels seem to create. It's like no matter who they were before, once a family gets in front of a camera, they are now unable to make good videos. Now am I claiming to have seen every single family channel and know that they're all bad? Well of course not, but if I really wanted to, I could probably switch to only making content about bad family channels and I don't think I'd ever run out of ideas. And I definitely never run out of ideas as long as the family channel Movlogs existed. Now I've talked about Movlogs a couple of times on this channel with the main reason being because he uh, uses his sister to get views and it's a uh, it's weird. And looking at these thumbnails, well, that doesn't seem to have changed, but that's not what we're gonna be talking about today. We're gonna be talking about this video right here titled, I Ruined My Sister's Car Collection, which is just one of the worst videos I've ever seen. I think it highlights my biggest issue with most family channels, and that's the fact that their content boils down to nothing but, look at me, I'm rich, and just a whole lot of other issues. But instead of talking about them, let me just show you. Subscribe. Okay, so the beginning of this video, I don't even really know what's happening, to be completely honest. He invites this, like, big TikToker over to his house, and they play with dye and water and balloons. I, I don't really understand what's going on there. And then they ride a motorcycle around, and they're just tossing it on the ground and stuff. You know, just more evidence that money means absolutely nothing to these guys. But that's still not really what I care about. I care about this, quote, prank that he's about to pull. Alright, guys. So, to continue on the rest of the vlog, I'm actually about to prank my mom and sister. So, guys, as you can see, I've lined up all the cars. But, you're probably wondering what I'm about to do with these cars. I thought we'd change all of their colors. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put sticky notes on all the cars. Okay, guys, this is gonna take hours and hours and thousands of sticky notes. Like, we're not just doing one car. What a problem to have. Having to go through so many sticky notes and spend all of this time because you just have too many supercars. I mean, God, my heart really goes out for you, man. We're doing four cars. All right, guys. It's time to do this. Oh my God. Oh my God. Guys, this is crazy. <laughs> this is gonna take Hopefully, not more than a couple of hours, guys. Let's get things started. Got my friend helping me out, you already know. Shaheb, boom. Number one. Number two. <laughs> this is okay, so I would consider myself a car guy, and while my cars are obviously nowhere near this kind of value, I think I would have a mini heart attack if somebody put a sticky note on one of my cars. I mean, I don't like when it rains, much less a thousand papers with nasty adhesive all over it. Like, this is how you know money is just nothing but a number to this family. I mean, we've easily got over a million dollars of just cars sitting here, not even garaged just parked. Who knows what they have in the back? I mean, this is not your average rich person behavior. Most rich people want to take care of their quarter million dollar cars. And look, I'm not trying to sound like I'm hating on somebody for having money. You don't get this kind of wealthy on accident. I'm sure they worked very hard to get here. But that does not make this content any better. This is just flaunting wealth because you know you're rich. And I think I'm just gonna leave this car as it is, just to show you like how much they have changed. I don't know about you guys, but this looks looks absolutely awesome like as i said I, I don't even know if we can call this a prank like this is just so nice once again i'm not trying to sound like a broken record here but i think anybody who has a passion for cars or really anybody who understands the value of the almighty dollar is just cringing you have to be swimming in money to call this nice i know post-it notes are not exactly a chemical weapon but i can nearly promise you that they're not good for paint either and all of these cars are custom wrapped and that's 
about $5,000 for a normal car, and I wouldn't be surprised if shops charge 10 to 15 for cars like this. To sit here and actively damage what is probably $45,000 of custom paintwork for a YouTube video? I mean, I know I keep saying it, but money means nothing here. Guys, this looks insane! Alright guys, I don't even know if this is considered a prank, but... Wow! My sister genuinely has no idea about what I did today. Like, sometimes she knows I'm up to something, but today, she's been doing her own thing. So hopefully she didn't see what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, I'm sure nobody in the house that is connected to the driveway that you just spent hours with a film crew and four or five people covering cards and sticky notes in noticed anything during that time. They were just oblivious, huh? I mean, come on, man. At least try and make it believable. Say they were out for the day or something. Not that they were sitting in the house the entire time and just didn't notice anything. Alright guys, we're gonna go get my mom and sister, see their reaction. What? Okay, Lana, I need you to close your eyes. I have a surprise for you. Oh no. I, I can't walk like this. Stop your hand. Hey, don't open your eyes at any cost. There's a staircase, bro, you can't even tell me there's a staircase. Alright look, just please don't open no, your I eyes. Okay, Lana, you know how much I I love you? Bullshit! <laughs> She's like, bullshit. Stop! I, I got you a little surprise. Okay, open your eyes. Oh, wow! Oh my goodness! This what? is so nice! Guys, I feel like I'm losing my mind here. Now we have two people saying that putting sticky notes all over their car is nice. This is not nice. This is pretty much just vandalism. This is damaging your car for fun. I mean, I can sort of understand like an old beater car and just making a joke out of it, but a Lamborghini? This is not okay. <laughs> I love that. That is actually really nice. Bro. Yo, this gives us an idea. What? I want to go neon. Bro, we need to wrap our cars neon. <laughs> Do you think mommy's gonna be excited as you are mad? No, hers looks trash. <laughs> hers looks trash. Nice. Bro, what do you mean hers looks trash? He's on yeah, the cars. He's gonna pee on the cars. Can you pee on the cars, please? <laughs> He tried to push it, bro. I think this video is slowly wearing down my psyche. So not only are we slowly disintegrating the wrap on the front end, we're now encouraging our cat to pee on our supercars. I mean, I don't even know what to say, guys. Why buy a car like this if you're gonna treat it this way? I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm against garage queens. If you buy a car, you should drive it. And yeah, it's their money, it's their car, so what I think doesn't really matter, but still, it kind of hurts to see. Oh, so nice. Oh, I you can't like keep it. That? Yes. Uh, we thought it's trash. It looks like a taxi. Oh my god, nice. Oh, I but this is supposed to be a prank. She's supposed to be mad about this. I think the day that I wrap my mom's car in sticky notes would be the last day that I walked the planet. Well, what do you guys think? Do you think I'm overreacting or are you in agreement that this is weird behavior? Personally, I cannot imagine purposefully harming a supercar for a YouTube video, but I don't know, maybe I'm just... Well, I was trying to think of a word, but I think the word is normal. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.